the national educational policy by government of india has clear directions on radical changes in education and they are being implemented already our school should implement them the best but sir nep 2020 is already into effect however the new curricular framework is yet awaited the new curriculum framework is awaited but nep has it that experiential learning competency based education or cbe competency based assessment or cba be implemented effectively yes sir that is true the conventional learning is replaced with experiential learning in science social science and mathematics but to provide concrete experience to the learners and children we need resources tools technology in fact the conventional lesson plans need to be replaced with the experiential lesson plans every teacher should follow the experiential learning approach but sir how could that be achieved and not only that when it comes to competency based assessments or cba even the pattern of questions has completely changed they are more skill based now now how do we prepare our students for the skill based assessments to add on even the learning outcomes are standardized by cbse and ncert so how do we ensure that all the teachers follow it properly i understand your concerns do you have any suggestions yes there are many solutions and teaching tools currently available we just need to explore them sir i came across this ntabs hybrid learning solutions created by a team of experienced teachers they seem to be very innovative in their design thinking and i think they've made a good attempt to create great standards of excellence they have also introduced this calendar if you can have a look at it yes it speaks of experiential learning yes sir let's have a glimpse of ndabs experiential learning lab surely sir sure. yes sir yes, sure. yes. We at Intap are a team of experienced teachers, well trained in competency-based education. Based on standardized learning outcomes, each topic in our K-12 hybrid learning solutions is mapped to NCERT curriculum and CBSC syllabus. First of all, teachers get standardized experiential lesson plans. with options to customize them in our experiential learning modules stage 1 begins with concrete experience related to the concept from real life using cutting edge technology i love early morning jogs as it is good for our health especially our lungs and heart let me show you something interesting here you go Look at his heart. It's beating so fast and we know that because he's jogging. Now, when I look at the topmost point of India gate, the imaginary line from my eyes to the point of observation is called the line of sight. So, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer. to the point in the object viewed by the observer now you can see that an angle is formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight this angle is called the angle of elevation of top of india gate from my eyes one system works to move blood between the heart and the lungs and is known as pulmonary circulation and the other system works to move blood between the heart and across the body and is known as systemic circulation did you get that it's actually the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation which are together known as double circulation we all know that fish have gills instead of lungs 
the oxygenation of blood in fishes takes place in the gills. Yes, exactly, in the gills. The heart pumps the deoxygenated blood collected in the atrium to the gills through ventricles where it gets oxygenated. What makes this instrument produce the sound? So, let's get into it more precisely. When the string of the guitar is plucked, it starts vibrating and produces a sound. And now, when the tongue of the bell is struck, the metal body starts vibrating and it also produces a sound. Even the membrane of Congo. Look, when it is thwacked, it also produces the sound. And what about this shank? Did you notice in this particular case, the air column vibrates? Crash symbol. Now, can you guess the vibrating part? Correct. It is the metal surface. Now, let's perform an activity to get a better idea of how the vibrations are produced. So, let's dive into the physics of the formation of rainbow. For that, we will freeze the moment now and we'll take a drop out of this rainbow. Have a look. When sun's white light enters the drop at point A, it suffers refraction. Now this refraction is due to change in medium from air to water. Now can you observe that along with refraction, the light is also getting dispersed into seven colors, just like a prism. The radiations that are emitted can include the alpha particles, the beta particles, gamma rays and x-rays. So the radioactive element was placed in a lead container having a very small slit. This small slit ensured that alpha particles emitted by radioactive element came only through the small opening and travelled in a straight line. Can you now think of the reason behind choosing the lead box? See, the walls of the atria are thin and the walls of the ventricles are quite thick. Also note that both the ventricles are separated by a thick septum, specifically known as the interventricular septum. Similarly, the atria are also separated by the septum which is called as the interatrial septum. Keep drawing the diagram showing the atria, ventricles and the septum. This stack of plates looks like a cylinder. So if we take a number of circular sheets of paper and stack them up, what do we get? Give it a thought. Great job. Stacking of circular sheets gives us a cylinder. And we also call it a right circular cylinder. In stage 2, from a concrete experience, the learner is led to reflective the thinking. College. He keeps a check on all the people entering and exiting the colony. He does not allow everyone to enter the colony, but instead, he makes sure that only selective, permissible members from outside are allowed in the colony. The plasma membrane or the cell membrane of the cell does the same job. It provides an outer covering to each cell and separates and protects the cell contents from their outside environment. The surface is very smooth. That means friction is very less over here. So if I kick this ball, the ball would experience quite less friction. And that is why it stopped at a farther distance. 
it traveled larger distance in comparison to the previous case, right? In space, we do not have any surface, nor do we have any air. That means we won't be experiencing any ground friction or any air friction. So if I kick the ball in this scenario, do you think the ball will stop? Let's find out. Hey, the ball doesn't seem to slow down. It appears as if it will keep moving continuously. That when we pull the rubber sheet, the balloons inside the bottle inflated. Yes. And when we released it, those balloons deflated. Great. You can relate this to our lungs as well. Stage 3 is the phase of abstract conceptualization, wherein the teacher explains concepts and ideas with utmost clarity. For the process of reproduction, plant needs to attract various agents like bees, butterflies, etc. And usually, the vibrant colors and fragrance of flowers help them attract insects for the same purpose. The job of our heart is to pump blood into the body that delivers oxygen to the cells. And this oxygen is used by the cells to produce energy for various metabolic activities. The light coming out of the sun suffers refraction through the atmosphere before reaching our eyes. Let us mark the horizon first. It's the tangent drawn to our Earth's surface at the point of view. Now consider the position of the sun. It's below the horizon, so light rays from the top of the sun ideally should not reach our eyes. Stage 4 is the time of active experimentation to promote scientific temper and skills. The inner surface of each polythene bag. Okay, the bulb glowing in the room and the bulb in front of me are not that different. The room bulb is also connected to the circuit and is powered by a power station. Whereas, the bulb in front of me is also connected to the circuit. Our highlight is live demonstration of all lab experiments and activities to promote learning by doing. Always remember that spoon should not touch the water. Dilute hydrochloric acid provided red color. With dilute sodium hydroxide solution, we observe a dark violet. With dilute ethanoic acid, we observe reddish orange color. Is there any change in color? Not exactly. NEP 2020 promotes discussions. Master the chapter is an engaging discussion of case-based questions applying core concepts in a chapter by multiple master teachers with thick walls while the atria are smaller chambers with thin walls. Let us imagine a vertical line from the cloud to its reflection inside the lake okay. and a horizontal line from your eyes parallel to the surface of the lake. Okay. If you guess these two lines meet at a point and that point appears to be somewhere around 100 meters from here. Exactly. Also, the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight from my eyes to the cloud. Do you remember what we call that angle? Oh, that is the angle of elevation. Right. So, in this angle of elevation, it appears to be Somewhere around 45 degrees. Okay. But how can you be so sure about the angle of elevation? Quick revision with concept map helps chapter-wise revision. It helps score excellent grades. Thick walls of the right ventricle. And the thick walls of the left ventricle. 
then we will start out with the right ventricle first and we emerge out the pulmonary artery from the right right atrium receive blood from the lungs and the body respectively whereas the left ventricle and the right ventricle pump or distribute blood to the body and lungs respectively so is it that the ventricles have large chambers with thick walls because they have to pump blood into the body with great pressure but atria are only receiving the blood from body parts these terminologies include the first one as the horizontal level the second one is the line of sight the third one is the angle of elevation and the fourth one is angle of depression what is the horizontal level let us see it is the horizontal distance between the observer and the object the next thing is line of sight it is the distance between the line drawn from the observation point to the point in the object being viewed by the observer built in questions and intermodule exercises help regular practice they help long term retention short notes helps learners with important key terms detailed pointers and answer keys digital worksheets powered by artificial intelligence for self assessment helps to track progress of learners individually or as a class Question bank with design your questions is a robust competency based assessment program for periodic and mock semester assessments teachers can even edit and customize the questions 